Stand back! There's a hurricane coming through! Welcome to episode number 69 of the Langell Show. My name is Brian Langell and I'm going to try to do this episode in one take because I got a lot of shit to do and not a lot of time to deal with it with. And if you're not up to date as to what's going on, I'd like to introduce Stormwatch 2008. I love theme music. Anyway, yeah, Stormwatch 2008 is all brought to you by our good friends from Hurricane Kyle. I refer to him as my good friend because I don't want to make Kyle any more angry than he already is. I live in Atlantic Canada, exactly where Kyle is about to hit. So people wondering, you know, Langley, okay, are you batting down the hatches? Is everything secure? You know, is your barbecue tied to your truck, which is, you know, drilled down into the ground because we don't want any of that shit blown away? Um... No, no, I didn't attach my barbecue to my truck. I thought that would be a bad idea. But overall, you know, I'm doing what I can. I've got things secured. Uh, hopefully everything's going to be cool. See, I'm a little more prepared this time than I was last time. And you're like, last time? When was there a last time? Well, that would be the time before this time. And that was Hurricane Juan, which incidentally hit exactly five years ago tomorrow which is the same time Kyle's supposed to hit, which would be exactly five years. Funny how that works, huh? Actually, it's totally freaky how that works because, you know, hurricane season really doesn't apply to me. I live in Atlantic Canada. When people think Canada, they think, you know, Toronto, which I'm far away from. They think ice, snow, hockey, cold beer. You're catching the trend. Everything is cold here. Um, hurricanes and cold weather don't really go well together, but apparently someone didn't get the memo or that whole Al Gore global warming thing, it might actually have some shit behind it because we're getting our second hurricane now in exactly five years. Now, I know what you're thinking. If you live in Florida, you're like, Langel, we get hurricanes every three weeks. What the f*** are you talking about? And yeah, I, 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 you shouldn't swear, kids. Don't do that. I get that. I'm not downplaying, you know, the, you know, the seriousness of a hurricane. I, I get that. Um, what I'm saying is, is for a place that never got hurricanes, like, ever, we've got two now in exactly five years. And again, that's really freaky that they're hitting on the exact same day. Because Kyle's going to get here after midnight, thus making it... Don't, don't confuse me. Anyway, the point is, yeah, it's really weird that we're getting two hurricanes, both on the exact same day. Which, incidentally, would be awesome for my son when he goes to school. Because, you know, when they ask, you know, when did the hurricane hit? It doesn't matter which they're talking about, because they're both going to be the same answer. Get that A, Owen. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up, because obviously I don't have a lot of time. As you can see here by the graphic, Kyle is on his way. Now, I'd love to show you exactly who or what Kyle is in this picture, but that's a shitload of clouds, and I can't really point out exactly where Kyle is. And it's not because of the green screen. I mean, I've learned to work with a green screen. It's the fact that that's a lot of cloud. I don't know which is what, and no one's stuck a name tag on saying, hello, my name is Kyle. So, I don't know. But... I just want to remind you guys, you know, if you're in Atlantic Canada, stay safe. Have a hurricane survival kit. I mean, I know that sounds a little dramatic, but, you know, have batteries, bottled water, you know, stuff that you can eat that you don't have to really heat up a lot. Stuff like that, you know. Be safe. The reason I'm saying this is because the last time we, f we had this happen, we were without power for three days. Now, power without power for three days is fine. I mean, those people in Philadelphia... The Amish! I hate it when I can't think of things. Are the Amish in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania? Anyway, they go without electricity. I'm babbling here. They go without electricity, so I'm sure we can do it. But, you know, I've noticed something. There's not a lot of Amish people on YouTube. And I think it's because without electricity and without the lighting, and more specifically without the internet, it's kind of hard for that to happen. I, I think I've just solved that. You know, I mean, we can have more Amish people on YouTube if we give them the internet. And I'm sure we give them the internet. It's a case of them taking the internet. 
Wow, I've somehow tied in hurricanes with the Amish. I'm not really sure how that happened, but that's what you get on the Landry Show, folks, because I start blurting stuff and boom, instant connection that you'd never connect the dots to. Anyway, yeah, I'm slightly nervous, as you can tell, because there's a hurricane coming through, so I'm going to wrap this one up. But thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the well wishes. Everything is cool. Hopefully we don't lose power, and if we do, it won't be for too long, because apparently I'm going to be on Blog TV next Friday. If you haven't seen the video yet, the link's in the side here. Uh, yeah, Langel, live, Blog TV. Anything's going to happen. If I just tie in the Amish with hurricanes, you don't know what's going to happen on Blog TV. Anyway, yeah, take care. Obviously, you guys know where to find me because you're watching this video. But just in case you're new to the show, you can find me at thelangelshow.com and youtube.com. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash langel. And for the first time, you can follow me on Blog TV. I'll be at blogtv.com slash people slash langel next Friday night at 8.30 Eastern, 9.30 Atlantic. And you can figure out your own time zones from there. Anyway, be safe. Everything will be cool in the land of Langel, I assure you. I'll try to get footage just so you guys can see what went down. And I will talk to you later. Take care. You know, I wasn't going to make any sort of blown away 69 jokes in reference to the Langel Show, episode 69, and hurricanes blowing and blowing in 69, and blah, blah, blah. I thought I did really well not to do that. And then I ended off by saying, what's going down? Sorry.